I just made it to Jumbo Hut. I'm just going to unpack my pack, let you know what I've got in my pack here. Uh, just need to make sure I get really, really warm as quickly as possible. Um, so this is for, this pack um, set up is for winter tramping. Um, so I'm just going to get all my stuff out and show you what I've actually got here. So pretty much, um, I normally take a 40 litre pack, but because it's winter, it's got a little bit more bulky stuff, so I just wanted to be a bit warmer. So I'm just going to show you what I've got here. So extra waterproof because it was raining this morning when it came out. So base layer, nice and dry, nice and warm. And just socks and little bits and pieces, gloves and little extras. Oh, my puffer, my puffer jacket, which I'll be putting on shortly. Just some extra stuff like spare cell phone, um, gadgets and bits and pieces. Put that there. What I try to do is try to have everything set up in a modular setup so it's just easy to put out of the pack, easy to pack. So it's the next bit. So I have a Z-Pack um, dry bag, but I still have a plastic bag inside. So this the Z-Bag bag protects the plastic bag that's inside. Right. So, so it's my tent, my Z-Pack tent, 520 grams, so it's quite light. That's my uh, bed, lower bed. Now I also have a, um, just because it's winter, I just have a, an extra, very, very lightweight, sort of, for the foam, very, very light, but I use that if I'm out tenting. I'll probably put that on the back because it's create a little bit more heat. But it's probably around minus six here at the moment. It's a bivy bag which I can put over the sleeping bag to boost the temperature or if I'm sleeping, if it's a bit damp in the tent and um, now I don't normally do this but I did bring some slippers just to make sure I'm nice and warm in the hut and just another base, another layer, base layer because it's pretty cold up here it's probably around minus 6 at the moment now I do have a um, pair of so nice fluffy um, warm pants, which I'll put on shortly because I want to be heat nice and warm before I leave the tent. My heat. And now, get my sleeping bag out now. This sleeping bag, always make sure I have it in a dry bag. Also, this bag is like a little day pack as well if I need it. Now, I want to point out here that I actually have two sleeping bags. I have a summer sleeping bag and a winter sleeping bag. So the winter sleeping bag goes down to about minus 5, minus 10. Um, degrees and the summer bag, so we're around about five degrees um, to sort of zero degrees. So what I do is I combine them together. Still pretty small, um, so I'm probably this probably weighs around about I don't know about one point five kg. So normally I have one bag, but being in winter I want to be very very warm. Now I do have this stuff bag here. It's quite a Tough one, it's not super lightweight, but I've sort of learned over the years that it's better to have a bag that you can compress and it's not going to break. So I'll just get this my sleep bag out because I want my sleep bag to start to pop up. I'm going to try to get the fire going here tonight. Um, hopefully, we'll see what happens, but it's not a biggie if I don't. Um, I've got plenty of warm gear. So I'll just get this sleep bag out. Two sleeping bags. So got, got them combined together. So all right. So they'll puff up pretty good shortly. So you can see two sleeping bags. And that's pretty much it. Um, 
just have a council here. Just have my um, cup, fold out cup, which I can um, use to make a nice cup of tea shortly. And also, my, my Billy, the cook system has my um, stove and everything in there. I did actually bring an umbrella on this trip just so I can walk in the rain today. Um, just hang it up there so it can dry out a little bit. And being winter, I want a nice hot brew in the meal, so and my water filter. So that's pretty much it. <laughs>